In this video, I'm going to talk about retail inventory. You say, retail inventory? Well, um, a lot of people go into stores these days and they bring in their sales ad and they're, and they're looking on the shelf and they look and they see that the product that's supposed to be on sale isn't there. So all of a sudden they're saying, well, where's the product? So then they want to blame the store clerk. Well, the store clerk has very little to do with this. Then they go and try to blame the manager, and I hate to say it, but the manager has very little to do with this either. So you say, well, who are we to blame? Well, welcome the computer. You say, the computer's to blame? That's right. All right. In the old days, when you did all this inventory, and I know I've worked with inventory with more than one company, so I know how this stuff works, okay? Uh, they would take guesses and they would think, okay, the customers will buy, want to buy a lot of this, but not a lot of that. So they would guess how much uh, stuff that they, they would buy. They'd order that, it'd come in, and if they were really lucky, it would sell out and they would make a tremendous profit. Otherwise, they were stuck with a bunch of stuff they couldn't even hardly get rid of. And that was a bad thing. Enter the Telzon. Telzon. I know it's spelled T-L-X-O-N, but that's what it is. It's Telzon. It's, it's actually a handheld device. I'm sure you've seen some of these. Some are gray, some are black, some have one, some do not. Uh, it just depends on the company. And what happens is, and let's take chicken and a biscuit, for example. I love to snack on chicken and a biscuit. There, Those are just wonderful snack crackers, okay? Let's say you wanted to have on hand at all times six chicken and a biscuit boxes. So you tell the computer, hey, I've got six boxes of chicken and a biscuit. So it says, okay, you have six. All right, now when the clerk scans the UPC of the chicken and a biscuit box, it will subtract one from your inventory. All right, now if a box gets damaged, the clerk is supposed to take the box to the back room and somebody is supposed to tell the computer, hey, gee, this box was damaged, so we can't sell it. And, of course, that would be subtracted off the inventory. Not always do they do this and they get to be a little responsible, and when that happens, then we start having a little bit of a problem. But that's what they're supposed to do. All right. But then we have another little problem. The thief steals the box. I can't imagine any thief wanting to steal his chicken in a biscuit box, but let's just say they did. Well, the computer doesn't know that, so the computer still thinks, oh, gee, you got like five or six boxes of chicken in a biscuit on the shelf, when you've only got like two or three. Well, then that creates a problem, because the, the computer is given an instruction. When there's only like two or three boxes on the shelf left, the computer is supposed to automatically order some more chicken and a biscuit boxes so you can refill your shelf back to six. Well, if the computer doesn't know that those chicken and a biscuit boxes are missing, then it's not going to order. Because after all, you've got about five or six chicken and a biscuit boxes. Well, if no clerk tells the computer otherwise, it's not going to order, and when the truck comes in, uh, you're just going to be out. All right? Now, I know a lot of these retailers carry more than five or six boxes of chicken and a biscuit, but we're talking more like your mom and pop stores. All right? So, like I said, the computer is really more in control of your inventory than um, the managers or the little service clerks. So, you really can't blame either one of them. I know the manager should take a little more control over it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But in the end, it really is the computer that has the control of the inventory. And it basically tells you how much you're going to get, so on and so forth. And so if the computer counts are wrong, it's not going to order what you need, and your shelf is going to end up being empty. And that's a problem. So before you blame the retail clerk or the manager for what's missing on the shelf, understand that it's the Telzons that tell the computer there's a big old computer in the back room. Almost every store has a big old computer in the back room, unless, of course, you go to some Amish place and they have a lot of paperwork. But unless you go to some Amish place, you're going to find a big old computer in the back room, and it controls the inventory, and it decides what gets ordered and what doesn't. So... 
think twice about blaming the clerks or the managers for what's missing on the shelf because really in all true essence it's more likely that the computer has it ordered correctly due to the fact of the information that has not been properly fed to it. Okay, I will discuss other computer technologies in a future video, so stay tuned.